For a moment, it looked like the end of the world, as a dust cloud from the collapsing building enveloped everyone and everything around, leaving everyone confused. As the dust settled, it became all clear. The popular UK centre that houses, among others, the Nakumat UK, was no more. Unfortunately, part of the building had come down on one of the bulldozers. The man was, however, rescued and the demolition continued. Once an epitome of architectural designs that have come to define malls in the country, now all that is left is a shell. The UK was no longer a OK. Unlike the South End Mall, where tenants were allowed to salvage their wares, tenants who by the time the bulldozers rolled in at the UK centre had not cleared their ware, were forced to painfully watch as the building was brought down on their businesses, destroying whatever hope they had of starting afresh elsewhere with the same wares. Too confused to do which is which because management in Asema work on a notice. Even if this is going down the drain, what plans are there? Are, are they putting in place to make sure the common manaichi is not suffering the way we are suffering? They might not feel the loss, but we are feeling the loss. K24 has established that among those who had not cleared their wares was the Nakumat UK supermarket, a popular salon and a restaurant. It should not have been built on the riverbed, but at the same time, the people who gave them the permission uh, are, the, uh, the, are the real culprits. Kentol Enterprise, which owns the centre, had gone to court seeking stay orders to restrain Nema from demolishing the building but to no avail. This even as the campaign to clear the country's wetlands prepares to move to its next victim. It is the second high-profile mall to be demolished in a span of three days in Nairobi County, perhaps a sign that the government is fully committed in its quest to reclaim riparian land. Shukriwa Chuke, 24, Nairobi.